What is abundantly clear to me, and I, I, I think I've accurately framed my read as search warrants for dummies, so I'll cop to that. Trump was given a million chances. He's a cat with 99 lives. They looked at him and they were like, oh my God, we don't want to go, but... We got it on tape. Oh, guess we still don't want to go. Oh, but now it came in and live. We still don't want to go. But man, it's human intelligence and new. I mean, <laughs> they did everything to not go get this stuff. And in the end of the day, he was so corrupt. He was so obstructive. And it was all on tape. I mean, this is the most restrained investigation into classified documents. And on the other side of a break, I'll, I'll let Brandon and Andrew disagree with me if they think I'm wrong. This is the most restrained effort to retrieve state secrets that we will probably ever know about in our lifetime. I, I, I'd agree 100,000 percent. Uh, and, and the thing that animates that, that strained approach or restrained approach is the fact that uh, you're dealing with a former president. Uh, and this, this idea of what's, you know, this is unprecedented. And the problem, Nicole, is that we always put the burden of what's unprecedented on those who are actually required to do their job. It's not unprecedented that the FBI or the Department of Justice or any law enforcement agent or any attorney general or anybody else around the country um, in this space would respond the way they would respond if it wasn't a president, right? They, they, you commit, you take secret documents, guess who's going to knock on your door, right? And you're not going to, there's not going to be gnashing of teeth and, and writing memos inside of any agency to pick your behind up and bring you in, not just for questioning, but for booking and processing, right? But the problem we seem to forget is the unprecedented part is what the FBI did or how the Justice Department responds. The unprecedented part is a president did it. It is the action of the individual that is unprecedented. The process in responding to that action is what is the rule of law. It is what should have happened. What makes it different is that we check ourselves and we hesitate because you know damn well you otherwise wouldn't. And because Trump is a former president and not just some carnival barker from New York, right, who happens to have his name on buildings, we slow the roll on this process, which creates the kind of instability around the narrative that you see play out. Well, we